and wedged in between late night gym fight. So boys, welcome. Thank you. Thanks, so, Thanks for having us. To be here. First of all, who was nominated to be the gym? We all sort of take turns, don't we? Yeah, it depends on the depends on the uh, the occasion, really. I tend to do most of the posters. Um, yeah, just because I think I've got the stupidest body. Um, <laughs> I'd agree with that. Yeah, uh, but then when we're walking around the courtyard, I, I look too scary with a mask on. So yeah, the wrestling could, mask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I look too scary with that mask on. So Lee's quite good in the mask. Paul's quite good in the mask. It's actually walking around the courtyard is quite nice wearing the mask because as much as you're dressed as a gimp, you don't. <laughs> Actually, you're not allowed to speak, so yeah. you know you can kind People of go. Just stare. Yeah, you just go a bit glazed <laughs> behind the eyes and just kind of walk around while yeah. whoever's leading you has to interact with people. Yeah. Like the flowering is when you don't have to speak. You don't. Yeah. So don't even look whack the gift mask on, swallow your pride. Just cause. You don't have to talk to people. Yeah. It's ideal. But not always. If we have Paul with us dressed as a gimp, we like to leave him with people. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. And then just walk away. Paul doesn't like that, but he can't say anything when you do leave him. Oh wow. Yeah. And yeah, it doesn't so the always gimp end has well. No control. <laughs> yeah. No. No control to it, it's got to be submissive. So, um, you do a lot of your own flyering promoting, and one of you is normally on a dog lead, yeah. taken around. Yeah, we do you, like, how is your, how are people when they see you? You know, do you get it's kind of the main reason we still do it is for the reaction. Yeah, because so many people like to have their picture taken or, or like to take the gimp for a little while and that kind of thing. So, we don't actually do much flyering, we just kind of walk around and just yeah. let them see us and that kind of thing. So, it's, it's purely just for people that might not even ever see the show, they just hear the word GIMP or they yeah. hear people talking about GIMPs because there's no other GIMP based show in Edinburgh <laughs> that we know of. I don't uh, think so. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty unique. Yeah. 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 We did have a, a couple of days ago, we were going around and a guy came up to us and was like, oh, I can't believe they've got their flowering team dressing up as GIMPs now. We were like, no, no, that's actually just one of us. On there. <laughs> yeah. you know, we're still, still getting those masks oh, on wow. after all these years. Yeah. <laughs> a shame. So how did you guys film this? Like, how did who thought of let's do late night and fight? It all came from. It's about when was it we got together? Two thousand and eight. And it all came from just a, a night was free at a theatre in London called the Hen and Chickens, and we were just like you know we'd always thought about doing sketches and we're like okay well let's let's try something and the name Late Night Gimfight was a name which had been come up the previous year as something that made us laugh as a title for a show and then yeah. just kind of took it from there and we did one show that went well stupidly we then decided yeah let's do a brand new hour of material every month yeah. for seven months which got progressively worse and worse than the material uh, did but by the end of that we had enough material to put together an Edinburgh show came yeah. up here and just kind of went from there really so can you tell us a bit about the Edinburgh show this year uh, this is certainly our most spectacular show we've ever done um, it's all style no substance but uh, it's, it's a, we've got a big big space we've got a lot of big song and dance numbers and some, yeah. Really um, cool visual stuff. Um, yeah, we really uh, have worked quite hard on this year. Brilliant. We did the um, we did Reading and Leeds last year, and it went really well. Being in a tent with you know a few thousand people in it, we just did big numbers in there. Yeah. And we kind of wanted to take that feeling of doing just big numbers and putting it into an actual Edinburgh show. Yeah. Because it, it's a fairly big room that we're in this year, so we wanted to really take over the stage and really take control of it. So. I would say it's the most easily the most spectacular show that we've done. Yeah. And I've not seen anything on this kind of in comedy. I've I've not seen anything on this kind of scale before. There probably has been hundreds of it, probably just another one, but you know, I've not seen anything going to this kind of extremes. Is smoke and mirrors though, like like Paul says, all star like the substance. Yeah. Looks great. Yeah, the sketches are awful. Yeah, really yeah. Awful. Not, that at all. Yeah. not really yeah. selling it here. No, <laughs> no comedy. No. Lovely production values though. Oh yeah, it's mm. a lot of money spent. It looks great. So. Yeah. Yeah, you do your own, you buy your own set, don't you? And you yes. paint it all and put it together. Yeah, we stick it all together and uh, we worked out we we need to sell an awful lot of tickets to break even this um, year it's a ridiculous really? amount yeah it's practically impossible really? which well, is we frightening we love a challenge <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so um your fringe regulars what would you advise three essentials you need for the fringe at edinburgh uh, so stay positive is the most important thing it's not funny nothing funny about that but just stay positive <laughs> take things with a pinch of salt because for instance last year we got we had a day where we got 
Uh, we had four reviewers come to see one show, and we got two, three, four, and five stars from yeah. one show. Yeah. It just kind of shows that just take things with a pinch of salt, especially yeah. with comedy. If you're bringing a comedy show up, it's all a taste issue. It's all a taste thing. If, if people, if someone can be absolutely loving it, sat next to someone who's hating it, no yeah. matter what show you're doing. So don't sort of change what you do to try and please everyone. Just yeah. stick to what you do and, and take all the negative comments and the positive comments with a pinch of salt and just keep on doing what you're doing. Sort of believe in yourself. That's really important. You've got to do the show that you believe in. Like, if you can honestly say that you are doing the best show that you've got total belief in, then then you can feel proud of it, you know, no matter what the reviews say. Like last year's show, we loved last year's show and we had some amazing reviews. We also had some, you know, some reviews it just wasn't their cup of tea at all. But we were proud of that show. We yeah. did the show that we genuinely loved doing and the audience feedback's the main thing, like, you know, don't do it just for the critics, do it for the audience as well. And if your audience is coming out having had a really good time, then you've done the job that you set out to do. Yeah. yeah you will divide people. And and that's not a bad thing at all. It's better to have a range of two to five than it is to be three right across the board. Yeah. And just bring painkillers. Yeah, bring them uh, painkillers. Yeah. We yeah. need a lot of them yeah. for the viewing. Have some alone time. Mm. It's a big one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Especially yeah. if you're in a group. Yeah. yeah. Get away from them as much as possible. Yeah. <laughs> Genuinely true. And snuggling. Snuggling. Is and then that's the opposite of that is to snuggle. Just just occasionally ask one of the guys if you can just snuggle. Yeah. And it's either one or the other. You either part or you're snuggling. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and there's okay. no like no just sitting around just. No. Having a chat is snuggling. We're snuggling, snuggling under the table. Yeah, we're doing it right now. Oh, okay. You're very cosy at the moment. Are you okay with that? Yeah, I'm fine okay. with it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, you have a lot of controversial sketches. There's a bit of nudity sometimes. Are any of you shy or get a bit nervous beforehand? Nude is definitely not shy. We have to stop Lee from getting nude in every sketch. Oh, it's wow. written into the shows that, that I get at least one opportunity to expose myself. Um, this shows the worst as well. Yeah. Like it's out it for way too long. You it just, is. Horrible. It takes just a long time. Yeah, but remind me actually, I do need to change the blackout because the blackout comes too soon on that one. <laughs> yeah, no, I could, no, I could no, do no, the next no, no. three seconds on there. Just, really just just enjoying it a bit too much. A yeah, I, I really like that bit. Really enjoy yeah. it. It's, it's cheaper than therapy. It's, yeah, I just get it out. Do um, any of your family come to see the show? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah they're, they're big fans. Every year. They've seen really? Lee's uh, exposed body more times. Than They've seen yours. Well, yeah. <laughs> That's nice. We are, our, all of our families have always been very good, very supportive. Yeah. We actually had one of our sketches we did in previous years was involving my mum. Oh, wow. And so we had to broach the subject to her, look, mum, do you mind if we film some stuff with you? Yeah. Genuinely needs to be you that we're doing it about, because yeah. otherwise, if we get an actress in, the audience won't really go for it. But yeah. if we can show pictures of me and you growing up together through my childhood up to this thing here, they'll really, they'll really get it. And she, I mean, she was really up for it, and we had to film... She was too up for it, if anything. Far too <laughs> up for it. We had to film a Paul here wearing just a dressing gown in front of her it was like a CCTV thing in her bedroom and her just reading a book Paul walks in and then you just see him drop the dressing gown there's nothing on underneath well no a strategically pe pe placed sock was you know, he did use a sock a small sock well no it was quite a big sock as I like a little ankle one yeah so we did that and, <laughs> <laughs> and I was worried about like how she would be with that but you should have seen her she was sat there on the bed she's got no can we do that again actually we do it again yeah. coming up <laughs> she really was like, how's my reaction? <laughs> She's enjoying it a little bit too Let's much. Let's just say, a single tear just <laughs> falling down my face. That's brilliant. Well, thank you very much for your time. You. If you want to go you. see Late Night Gimp Fight, they're on between the 6th and the 27th of August at the Pleasance Courtyard. Yeah.